One of the most useful resources for learning Japanese that I've come across this year has been the Core Flashcard decks. And these are a set of popular pre-made flashcards that take you through 10,000 words and sentences in Japanese. And as I've been going through these flashcards and adding them to my collection, I've been customizing them to fit my own style of flashcards, my own flashcard templates, so that they look and function the way that I want them to. In this video, I want to address some of the technical questions that I've received about this process and guide you through how to get this stuff into Anki and into a format where you can personalize these materials a little bit. So normally I don't advocate using pre-made flashcards and that kind of thing. I normally would suggest you make your own flashcards, but uh, I'm not here to discuss that today. Um, if you do want to hear my thoughts on why I'm using these materials and how I'm using them to study, then check out vlog number 10 where I discuss that in depth. But for now, um, I'm going to guide you through the technical process of getting this stuff into Anki. So, Without any further delay, let's dive into it. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be working with the core deck here, which I was discussing earlier. You'll find the link to this website in the video description. And if you scroll down here, you will find all the download links for the core stuff. So here's the spreadsheet that contains all the data for the flashcards and all of the folders of audio for the sentences and words. Now there are other decks you could use. Um, that would work in the same manner, such as the Nair one. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but that is another well-known one, which is based on this frequency dictionary, uh, which is cool. But anyway, I'm going to be using the core stuff. So, if you download that core stuff, you're going to get a spreadsheet like this, a giant spreadsheet. So each of these entries, say we look at something like this, uh, Kayobi, Tuesday, you've got the word, you've got the translation, you've got the sentence, um, you've got pronunciation, you've got a reference here to the file names for the um, audio files. A lot of stuff here. And there's 10,000 entries. So a ton of great resources for a Japanese learner. Now, our goal in this video is to take all of this information and convert it into a format in Anki that is useful to us, which is going to look something like this. <clears throat> so, if you are using the Japanese in a year model deck for Anki, which is also linked in the video, it will have a card model that looks something like this. Um, this is originally based on the Fluent Forever Japanese deck um, but with some changes that I've discussed elsewhere. So anyway, I'm going to be using this card model, and I find that this offers me a lot of freedom to customize things uh, when I'm studying. So anyway, our goal is to get all of this into here. Now, the first time that I did this import <clears throat> from the core deck, I imported the first thousand words. So the you know, more or less the first 1,000 most frequently used words in Japanese. And so now I have those in, in my deck here. So the way that I would do that is I would import all of this stuff, all of these words, so these are all from the spreadsheet, and I suspended them all, which means they won't show up in my study sessions. And then the reason for that is that I want to go through all of these individually and customize them a little bit, which just means adding a picture here, blanking out the word that I want to learn, and adding any options here that I might want for extra flashcards. So that is the customization process. And uh, that's about it. It's that simple. Um, while I'm doing that, by the way, I will also make mnemonics for any new kanji. Um, or component pieces of kanji that are new to me. And I'll also make uh, flashcards for any other words in the sentence besides this one that I don't know. So that way I'm learning every word in every sentence that I come across. So I've already imported a thousand of these things in here and I've worked through most of them. I've still got some of these left to uh, make flashcards out of. But I've gotten through most of them. So now what I want to do is actually import the other 9,000 of these. 
Now, I think that there are some benefits to importing things slowly. Uh, it kind of might give you some milestones to work towards if you import it in chunks. However, my goal here is a little bit different. Um, what I want to do this time, actually what I've already done and what I'm going to show how to do, is I want to have all 10,000 of these sentences in Anki ready to go um, as flashcards that are 80% made. And that way, if I come across a word somewhere, say, like in one of my italki lessons, um, I can do a search here and hopefully find something that is almost uh, ready to go. So let's say, for example, that I don't know the word for dog, inu. Let's say for some reason I don't know that. I can do a search in Anki, and then all of a sudden I have all these results of all of these examples of sentences with the word dog in it. So I love dogs. I'm scared of dogs. They have a dog next door. The dog is wagging its tail. And this is an awesome, awesome resource to have. So it's not that I want to learn all 10,000 words right away, because I certainly won't have time to do that this year. It's just not physically possible. But to have all this stuff locked and loaded and ready to go in Anki so that I can uh, use these as uh, flashcard, you know, example sentences with the audio and everything. Um, that's a very, very handy resource. So that's the goal. So let's get to the import process here. It's not too complicated. The first thing that you will need to do is import all of the media into Anki. So you need to drop it into Anki's media folder. So the way that you do that is to go here. So these are all of the audio folders. You want to, on a Mac, click uh, Finder, Go. If you hold down Option, it'll bring up the library. Click on that. I'm going to go to Application Support. Anki. Mine is Anki 2 because I think I had a previous version installed at some point and now it's Anki 2. Anyway, click on Anki. It probably is just called Anki. Choose your user, which is Sean. And then this is the folder you want to drop everything into, collection.media. So you can see this is all of my media for um, all of my flashcard decks. So you want to open these up select all, and then copy them into this folder. So that's the first step. Once you have all of that stuff in this folder, when you import the flashcards, um, Anki will be able to find them automatically because it already has the references to the file names in the flashcard spreadsheet. So the next step is to get that spreadsheet into Anki. So again, here's the spreadsheet. <clears throat> In my case, I want to only import the last 9,000 entries, so I want to skip the first 1,000 because I already have those. Um, the other thing I want to do is to arrange these columns in such a way that matches the fields I have in my Anki card model. So. I want my columns, instead of core index, new op sort, I want it to go sort order, that's the first one, then picture, then word, and then English word, etc. So those are the two steps I need to do, the two things I have to modify about this spreadsheet before the import. So um, I trust that you can figure out how to do that, how to copy and paste stuff in a spreadsheet. So I'm going to move over here to this other spreadsheet here that I've already made those changes to. So I've gone through and I've um, arranged these things in the order that I want, which is sorted by vocab frequency. That's uh, this column here. I've sorted by vocab frequency. I've made these columns um, match my fields here. You can see it's all the same. And I've deleted all of the other fields that I'm not going to use. So once you've done that, you want to export this as a CSV file. 
to do like this. Uh, the Unicode UTF-8 is fine. And give it a name and export. Now, I've already done that. So I have that file already, the CSV file. Then you're going to go back into Anki. You're going to probably would be a good idea to create a new deck. So let's say new core deck, just so you don't screw up anything with your existing decks. And by the way, it's probably also a good idea to make a backup of whatever decks you are using at the moment so you don't make any unwanted changes during this process. So now I have my new deck. I'm going to import this file. I have my CSV file here. Uh, this happens to be the right one for me. I'm going to click open. I want to choose the correct card model type, which if you're using the model deck linked below, the Japanese in a year one, choose number three, either this one, which is the Japanese version, or this number three, which is the English version. Um, again, I discuss how to use this card model in another video, which will also be linked in the description. But anyway, just know it's number three, Japanese sentence cards, core import, and that is designed specifically for this purpose here. So I'm going to choose that. I'm going to stick it in this new core deck. And I actually have to check one option here before we do that, and that is when you import this, if you want everything to appear in the right order, which I do, go to your deck options, um, choose the right rule settings, and then make sure that the order here is show new uh, cards in order added and not in random order. So I want that. I'm going to go back to import again, choose my file. I've got the right card type, the right deck, and the rest of this should be correct. So you do want to keep this checked uh, where it says allow HTML and fields. And then if you've uh, prepared the spreadsheet properly, um, all you should have to do is click import and everything should come in. So now I've done that, I've succeeded. I do have some notifications here. These are error messages saying that there's some duplicate numbers here and that is due to the fact that I use the vocab frequency as a sorting field. Um, you might not run into that. In fact, you probably won't run into that if you use a different sort order. Um, I went through yesterday and eliminated a lot of these um, duplicates. It was kind of time consuming so I'm just gonna let these last 20 or so slide um, out of you know 8,000 notes 8,000 sentences. If I have 20 sentences that uh, don't make it in the import, it's not a big deal. But anyway, the rest of it should have imported successfully. If we take a look at what we've done here, um, we should see 8,000 of these. And I think the reason they're not showing up here is because I already imported them into this other deck. So what you should see is a whole bunch of flashcards like this. And what you should then do is select all of those and suspend them. So I've already done that. Um, and that way, when I want to add these to my flashcards, I'll go through, I'll make the customizations, the personalizations that I want, and uh, then I will unsuspend it and let it float into my study sessions. And that is the process. Um, now that all of this info is in here and your media is in the Anki folder, um, Anki will automatically find those files. As long as you haven't changed the name of them, um, it's going to be able to find those files using these references here. So with that in place, um, you are ready to <laughs> learn some Japanese. So I hope that was helpful. And uh, let me know if you have any more questions about this process in the comments below or any troubleshooting because it did take me a little bit of time to figure out exactly how to do this. Um, but anyway, hope that helps and uh, thanks for watching. See ya.